Hello guys, now it's time to take another look at some scary videos captured by different security officers. Let's buckle up and stay frosty. The following video is showing heavy police presence around Bayside Marketplace in Miami on New Year's Day and it made many speculate that something unnatural was unfolding this night. Police stated that they were there to dissolve a large fight that broke out between a group of about 50 teenagers, which resulted in multiple arrests. Yet some people had their own theories and posted on social media days after the incident, suggesting what really was going on. Some people at the scene believe that aliens had taken a visit to the mall, which caused this extreme police activity. Of course, the Miami Police Department tried to play the theories down, stating that there were no aliens. But some bystanders believed that they in fact saw an 8 to 10 foot alien walking right through the scene. Some other users on X pointed out it is likely to be just two or three people walking next to each other which is possible, but most people find it a bit suspicious that such a large amount of police vehicles would show up for just a simple teenage brawl. One of the people at sight had the following to say. We, we look back and we notice some weird shapes taller than me. I'm six foot two, shadowy, dark, solid shapes, not human. I promise you, these is not human. I mean, it made the hair stand up on my skin. Uh, and just booked it for the doors after that, man. I can't explain what that was. I can't say that was aliens, but I, I can't say that, sh that was not human. It was not human. And they online, I don't know if they're trying to cover this stuff up, but they saying that it was uh, police officers and, and somebody, not shadowy figures. It's 2024, man. It, it's something going on. There's something going on and they trying to cover it up. So it appears that it is up to us now to decide if these events show us some form of otherworldly activity or if this, in fact, was all just caused by a rowdy group of teenagers. Many believe that there's more to the story than what police wants us to believe. And I agree. This footage was captured by security officers who were securing parts of an old mental hospital that was used for filming at the time. According to the video's description, the staff could hear some really eerie and unprecedented noises during the whole day. However, it wasn't until security reviewed the recordings sometime later that they realized they might have captured a ghost on their camera. We see an empty hallway, then there's a translucent figure that appears out of nowhere and walks through the picture. It all looks like a strange blurry object at first, but it is without a doubt that it must be a transparent person. The spirit walks further across the hallway and disappears through a doorway. Just as several crew members come into view, none of them notice the creepy apparition, but it made this day so much more eerie. Most people believe that we can see the ghost of a former patient here. Could that be possible? If not, how else do we explain this sighting? Guess we will never know for sure. The following video was captured by a security officer who just started at a new location. He was patrolling the floors of an old college building, which has been said to be haunted for many decades. Apparently, a student was found in one of the dorm rooms who decided to leave this world several years ago. And people swear that sometimes they can see his spirit roaming the hallways. Before encountering something rather terrifying, we see and hear our guard patrolling in which is what I assume his natural habitat.
All of a sudden, we see a shadowy figure disappearing behind the wall. And the man is seemingly in shock. He never found out what exactly this thing was. Perhaps the spirit of the deceased student. Spooky for sure. The following video was captured by guard Francisco Hernandez, who was finishing his shift when he heard a mysterious noise coming from one of the airplanes. He states that this is part of airline protocol, since they experienced a break-in some months back. As the man shines his torch down the aisle, a shadowy figure appears around the corner. Verga. No mami. Trembling in fear, we see him exiting the airplane as fast as he can. And it is said that he clocked off only minutes later. What could our guard have captured here exactly? A shadowy figure that was looming around in the airplane? How eerie. But there was another incident that took place at this airport. A colleague of his noticed ghostly passengers that apparently were stepping off an airplane from the afterlife. And we see them going through a tunnel that is not attached to any physical airplane, which makes even more people believe that ghosts and spirits are a common sight here. Are these passengers that lost their life on one of these flights? Passengers of a plane that never arrived at its destination? A terrifying thought. This video was shared by a security officer who states that he noticed one of his colleagues patrolling one of the surveilled roads. Based on his reports, he saw his colleague talking to himself, which was pretty odd. And after watching this unfold for a few moments, he contacted him via radio. Marica, la 
Marica, lo estoy viendo aquí por la cámara, se está hablando ahí solo. Bueno, como a mí, es algo como... Marica, ¿qué pasa? 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 Marica, ¿qué pas
Brad, you good? Hey. You're freaking me out, man. <laughs> okay. It didn't have to be anything paranormal, but it was very strange behavior for his colleague. To just stand there and look at the wall. It made Bailey quite a bit uneasy to say the least. From this night on, more and more interesting encounters started to unfold again. This night he was giving a little tour on Instagram. And without even noticing, there seemed to be standing something next to the old workshop. Backstage, can't see it very well, but um, what? <gasps> Look, guys, holy! I'm turning the lights on. I'm turning the lights on. Not necessarily easy to make out, but many believe this to be a shadow person. How unsettling. When Bailey's attention gets grabbed by a loud noise on one of the following night shifts, he goes for another tour with his cell phone and it would appear that whatever he had captured prior, standing next to the shop, was back yet again. 9pm on a Saturday, this is my life. So I'm walking through the main stage. <clears throat> Here, I'll flip it. Okay. Ghost light is on. No one in here. Hello? Okay. As Bailey is filming up into the auditorium, he captures two strange shadow beings that seemingly are just standing still and staring at him from above. One of these beings is pretty thin, while the other one seems to be a bit wider. How eerie! Bailey believes that those two must be the spirits that still linger in this old theater. Could it be so? A terrifying thought, I find. In Mexico, there's an abandoned theme park that opened in 1988, but closed after several fatal accidents. While it's unclear if the accidents led to its closure, some speculate it was due to reports of paranormal activity from visitors. The park was built on a cemetery, adding to the eerie atmosphere for urban explorers. Despite being monitored and protected by a security company, patrols have reported feeling uneasy due to leftover statues. One urban legend revolves around a haunted statue of Snow White. Securing personnel claim to have seen it move from its original position, giving them chills. One particular eerie night, a patrol group spotted what seemed like an intruder in the park. I want to be the Hey, wait, this is a velador. Velador, no? Velador. Hey, velador. Hey, aguanta, aguanta, espérate. Hey, shh, no te muevas. No mames, no te muevas, no te muevas ahí. Wey. ¿Velador? Ese no es el velador, wey. No. No, 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 aguanta, 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 deja enfoque, deja que mi cámara enfoque bien, deja que mi cámara enfoque bien. Deja que mi cámara enfoque bien, wey, ese no es el velador. No digas perras mamadas, wey. No digas perras mamadas, wey. Perdón, perdón. Okay. No digas mamadas, güey. Miren. 
No digas mamadas, güey. No, 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 Dios. No, 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 no. No, güey, no mames. ¿Qué fue eso, güey? No sé, no sé, no sé. No mames, güey. ¿Crees que haya sido ella? No mames, güey, no mames. Upon closer inspection, they realized the figure was wearing a dress and walking oddly. Later, they stumbled upon the Snow White statue, noticing its dress matched the intruders. This led to them question whether the supposed person was actually the moving statue. The group is divided on whether they witnessed the statue moving or if something else was at play. I think this one remains a mystery. What do you think? The following is an older but still gold recording that was captured by a hospital worker one late night. He was the only person left on the wing at the time, since this part had been abandoned for a few months already, and he was just cleaning up a few things, when all of a sudden a creepy noise could be heard, and then they started recording the following. A strange inhumane figure is leaning into the frame from the right, and it seems slightly tinted in a brown color, almost see-through. Safe to say that this was no ordinary human, which gives the reason to assume that this perhaps was one of the lingering spirits that still roam this old part of the hospital. Creepy. The following was documented by two security officers who heard an extremely loud bang echoing through the building they were protecting. On closer inspection, it appeared to stem from the end of the hallway. Mind you, there was no draft, nor an open wind, nor an open window. They think that something otherworldly must have messed with this box. This is the CCTV recording that was obtained by the same security guard that we see on screen here and then uploaded to his channel Jay Breezy. He states that he saw a ghostly person walking up to him and apparently even the camera has captured this event. I saw that. I saw that. See, I saw that. And I'm like, and then it disappeared over there about the desk. And I had, I'm like, okay, okay. So I looked at the camera. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna calm down. So I wanted to tell the camera, y'all see that? Y'all saw that? Right? I'm telling the CHA, did y'all see that? Jay thinks that this must have been a ghost, walking the lobby area, because what on earth could this have been otherwise?
This recording stems from a night security guard who was protecting a huge warehouse. It was his 12th night at the job. And he states that ever since he started to walk there, more and more creepy events started to unfold. This is one of his documented ones. Ah! It seemed that something got thrown at him, which initially made him quite weary. Then, moments later, the power went off in the whole building, and he seemed to have heard and seen something terrifying. And after the recording ended, he went home straight away. Was something demonic lingering in this old warehouse? Another security guard who started his first shift at a new workplace. He had heard about infamous ghost stories that the other staff were sharing ever so often, but never thought anything of it. Tonight, strange crying caught his attention. No, no. Hola. No mames. ¿Se escucha un bebé? No mames. ¿Oye, güey? ¿Se escucha un bebé? No mames. Wait, wait. No mames. Some say that the ghost of a child might still be roaming this building. The guard never found anyone, making him believe that it must have been indeed a ghost. This is another nightly security encounter captured by a young man who was patrolling the upper levels in his local hospital. He wasn't a believer in the paranormal at all and apparently had captured this encounter purely by chance. What caused all of this? He heard some unexplained noises from the empty wing of the upper floors. And this was when the recording started. Alright guys, I'm at the empty floors. I was hearing some noise coming up right now. It's kind of freaking me out, so I'm gonna be filming a little bit. Seeing some. We see a strange shadow figure standing behind one of the chairs right in front of the window. And the young man didn't know if he actually saw this thing at the time, or if it was just a trick of the eye. Pretty eerie, isn't it? But then there was another shadow, seen at the end of the hallway. 
that went completely unnoticed. Is it safe to say that ghosts are roaming this empty wing? 